Our primary mission is to train these students to become tomorrow's artists. They can go on to be uh, illustrators, some of them go into uh, visual communications, like television, film industry, uh, transportation design, interior design, fashion design, medical illustration. There's such a wide range of uh, choices that these students have available. That's what we try to prepare them to be able to be in a position where they can learn. We, we try to think in terms of um, allowing students to grow as people and to develop skills over three years or two years or if they just come for one year. We really try to focus on the needs of the student and helping them to prepare a portfolio, uh, to be prepared to go off to a university program or to go off to an art school program. You know, they all have such different goals, but our goal is to prepare them that whatever comes for them, they have a good, strong foundation and can draw on that experience. The Visual Arts Center has been part of uh, Montgomery County Public Schools for just about 25 years now. The reason why the Visual Arts Center is attached to Einstein High School is because it is uh, centrally located in the county. It's not exactly geographically in the center, but it is close enough to transportation routes, uh, and uh, we are able to uh, have ourselves easily available to uh, many of the schools in the county. We have students coming from Wooten High School, from Churchill, from Blair, from Kennedy. We have had some students come as far away as Quince Orchard High School, Damascus, and Northwest, and Seneca. Roughly about 40 to 50 percent of our students are traveling students. Uh, we do invite our students when they do apply to the program and they are accepted into the program to have the option of actually becoming an Einstein student. Sometimes for some students that works out because that means there's less of a uh, interruption in their daily schedule due to travel. They can come here, take all of their academic courses as well as be a student at the Visual Arts Center. Other students may opt to, uh, for one reason or another, remain at their home school uh, for their academic courses. They might take their courses in the morning and then travel here in the afternoon or start their day here and then return to their home school. Transportation is something that uh, once, once a student is in our program, the student and the parents, they are responsible for the, the transportation. Unfortunately, our program's not large enough to be able to have uh, buses that can go out and pick up students and bring them here. Students that are applying for the ninth and 10th grade, we look primarily to see where they are and their drawing skills. We like to be able to see how well they can observe and analyze and render space. For a 12th grader to come in, we do like to see a very large body of work, um, a mature level of a level that we like to think is appropriate for the Visual Arts Center. In 11th and 12th grade, we, we are not here really to do remedial work and um, even though someone might have the desire to be in here, if they don't have a relatively large body of work already accomplished at a particular level, it's going to be very frustrating for those students at the higher level. Within the environment, we use the human figure, we use still life. Uh, they have homework assignments on landscape and interior drawings. We're trying to expand their skills so that they have uh, a real variety of experiences that they can draw from. And what's really uh, interesting as a teacher is, as you move them through the structure of ninth and 10th grade, they begin to develop their own strengths. And by the time they're juniors, you really know whether they're good in drawing or painting. So that their concentration, their focus of their work becomes more personal. Um, you begin to see the personality of the child emerge, but also their interests. And they often work side by side. The, the beauty of the art center is the teachers have a plan and a curriculum but it's the dynamic between the students. They share ideas, they support each other, they, they have a vision for what they want to do. I think another important aspect, I call the three C's. The first one is competency. Sometimes we call it control of the media. If you're working in pencil or if you're working in acrylic or an oil paint or charcoal, uh, you should be able to show a competency in the manipulation of that medium. 
The second C that I like to drive into the heads of the students is the notion of creativity. What can I do with this raw data to take a creative approach? Do we want to just blindly, directly copy nature, or do we want to take a more of a formalist approach and start to relate and change, abstract, and emphasize? What makes this interesting for us as an artist and what makes it perhaps interesting for the viewer? So we have the competency and we have the creativity. And lastly, what we try to put in there is a primary component for a portfolio piece is the complexity. How are we challenging ourselves? Are we taking a shortcut to get something done? Or are we really striving to do something that takes a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of planning, a lot of work? A lot of hours. Well, the 12th grade is a real fun time where the student has developed uh, such an independent level of growth that uh, they become self-actualized, which is a very critical factor where they have their own energy, their own drive, they're lighting their own fire. And most importantly, once they've learned all of these concepts that we've presented to them and exposed them to various experiences, Hopefully their own particular style, their own particular voice will start to grow from this. We want them to be able to have their own individuality that will set them apart from other students in the country that they're competing against in, in terms of getting into art schools and vying for those scholarships. And, and also it serves as a motivator for them to continue to work. Senior year is, I think, very, very exciting. The Visual Arts Center has an annual show and really it's a culmination of all the work the students have been doing for the whole year. My colleague Mr. Piekosinski and I, we collect the best work and have an opportunity to showcase not just the seniors' final portfolios but rather the, the progress of all students at different levels. We usually do it at the end of the year just before the advanced placement exam so that we can invite the parents and the community to come and see the work. And it really is an exciting time because a student has a chance to have two or three objects uh, from their portfolio displayed. It's really an opportunity for the students to get recognition. Part of the process of being an artist is for your work to be seen. We always want people to know about it and think about coming in the early part of May to come and see the show.